All right, so let's do sine of 7 pi over 4. Again, first thing I know is, again, I'm going to use period of an 8 again. So when, I have wake, when I'm using 2 as my denominator, what would be all the way around the circle? 4 pi over 2, right? So I can rewrite this as sine of 4 pi over 2 plus 3 pi over 2. Would everybody agree with me? Could everybody look up here and make sure you agree with me that that works? Huh? Right. But I'm just saying, does everybody agree with me what I did? Just makes it easier. Because 4 pi is what? A circle, right? So we don't really need to do that extra circle. So what is coterminal with 7 pi over 2? Sine of 3 pi over 2. Well, on your unit circle, here's pi over 2. 4 pi over 2. Remember, all the way around, guys, is equal to what? 2 pi. What is 4 pi over 2 equal to? 2 pi. We don't need to always go around the circle over and over. Anytime you have 2 pi, you can, it's just, it's extra, it's redundant. Let me show you an example. So all the way around is 2 pi. Our answer is 3 pi over 2. Pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, right? Here is 3 pi over 2. Do you agree with me? Right? Well, what if I did um, 7 pi over 2? 1 over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, 6 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2. So what happens is when you go around, it's doing all these extra circles. So by crossing this out, all I'm doing is like eliminating the extra circle. The coterminal angles, they have the same initial and terminal side. It just makes it easier. You don't have to do it. It just makes it easier. So here's our coordinate point. My coordinate point is 0, comma, negative 1. We're identifying the sine, which is going to equal to negative 1. 